Hello everyone, this is Alchemisted, and this is once again Star Trek Online Rise of the Red Shirt. Last time we did What Lies Beneath, and this time, down, 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 we will be doing Everything Old is New. So let's go ahead and jump on in, because this is a fun mission. Obviously, the Davidians have found a way to harness this surge of triolic energy. The existence of the Davidian portal means they're traveling freely between this station in the present and in the past. Since 23rd century technology can't detect the Davidian phase shift, this time period is rife with potential victims. The only choice now is to stop the incursion at the source. You'll have to take that portal into the past and find out how the Davidians are creating this new surge of triolic energy. Stop them and find a way back without alerting the timeline. Don't worry about temporal investigations. I'll pull a few strings. They'll never know that you were gone. Best to keep your team small, though, just in case. And as a reward, we get uh, these two things, which are okay, uh, but these uh, are much better. These are much cooler because uh, these are these are basically you know your basic phasers, and those are okay. But these are the TOS phasers, uh, and uh, you used to only get. I believe the forward bank from here, but now you can get both. There was, there used to be an exploit where if you had purchased the uh, lifetime, uh, or I'm not sure what you, what the pre-order was. I think it was, it was, was it the lifetime purchase, or was it the GameStop? It, it was the GameStop uh, pre-order that gave you the uh, Constitution class uh, in, that you could use instead of a light cruiser. Uh, I never got that though. Yeah. Uh, I know this one. <laughs> My mind just blanked out on me. Uh, but there was an exploit where you could claim that, take all, take the phasers off of it, uh, discharge it, claim it again, and keep doing this until you had outfitted your ship with phasers uh, that were pretty much better than most of the stuff you were going to be finding throughout the game. And they scaled with you. I believe did the did the uh, TOS Constitution phasers scale with you? They may have. They may have. And they weren't the best phasers, but they basically made it so that you didn't have to give a crap about your phasers for a good long while. Uh, because they want people to play this mission, they have uh, they have d nerfed those a little bit. They didn't prevent people from exploiting that because they wanted people because they knew that a lot of people would be upset. But what they did was uh, they improved the quality of these. Uh, to uh, blue quality, blue rarity quality, and uh, they lowered the quality of the phasers on the uh, TOS Constitution to green quality, which is uncommon. So yeah, that's about it. That's, of course, like I I outfitted my uh, old Constitution with like these phasers and such. They're useful when you get them because they they improve. These rewards scale with you uh, every time you do the mission at a new level. So if this mission is its fairly lucrative to run it whenever you level up. Uh, in terms, of, Not only in terms of energy credits, but in terms of uh, good weapons that you can use. But uh, we're going to be heading back to Jazana Station now. And uh, while I'm here, because we are going into the past, I will be briefly donning this in old school Starfleet uniform. I've already got my away team set up with their uniforms, and I'm going as Lieutenant Commander because I don't want to push my fucking luck down there. Tactical view. They will be going as lieutenants, because really, I don't want to be drawing that much attention. We're not supposed to be doing that. Uh, I docked at K7. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> so the TOS uniforms, I actually got my TOS uniforms from a contest. I got them free of charge. Yeah, free of charge. Uh, from a contest that was handing out uh, codes for TOS costumes, but uh, you could also procure them from the C store multiple ways. I believe they were also a pre order bonus, maybe at some point. However, uh, the biggest 
the biggest way to obtain the TOS costumes. No, I don't want to dock their K7 operations. The biggest way to obtain them is to buy the TOS bundle, which gives you uh, the uh, Galileo shuttlecraft, or the Type F shuttlecraft, uh, the Constitution class light cruiser, or cruiser. It's, a, it's, just, it's not really a light cruiser, it's simply a cruiser that is not as powerful as the normal cruisers. Um, a Type 2 hand phaser. I'm not sure if you only get one of those or if you can just keep claiming it. And the TOS interior, which is the big deal with that pack, is the uh, is you get an interior of your ship that's basically an uh, original series Constitution class interior. And the uh, the big deal with that thing, besides the fact that it looked phenomenal, uh, was the fact that the NPCs on your ship all wore uh, TOS uniforms. That's something that hadn't happened yet. It's still something that hasn't happened, you know, being able to customize your the random NPC so that you can have a crew wearing a specific uniform instead of, like, having a bunch of uniforms walking down there, which kind of breaks immersion. That's why I don't wear the first contact uniforms, because, you know, it got to a point where it was like, you know, all these NPCs are walking around my ship. Uh, and spawning and, like, manning stations on my bridge wearing, like, the basic ugly-ass kind of stupid 25th century Starfleet uniform. The Antares 2 uniform, I believe it is. Docking at station. And it just kind of got sick with, you know what, let's just go with 2409 uniforms until I am I can customize my crew to wear whatever uniforms I want them to wear and, like, give them actual, like, first contact uniforms to wear. Because I love the first contact uniforms. They're my favorite uniforms. They're real, they really are. They're they're probably, like, right next to the uniforms from the Wrath of Khan, they're probably the most badass uniforms that have been on screen. And are you... You're KDF, okay. So we're going to descend down into the depths, the bowels of Drazana Station yet again. I feel dirty. Hutch. That's a good name for an engineer. That's a good engineer name. Hutch. I got Hutch on it. Everything's gonna be alright. Descend to Davidian Portal. And I'm taking Lima and Locke. It's the power trio. It's the Glinday's power trio. That's not... I'm not calling it that, though. Hell no. It's not the hazard team, either, so... A properly modulated energy discharge should allow us to use this portal to follow the Davidians back through time. Once we get there, though, it might be a bit trickier to get back. We should bring as few people as possible to minimize the chances of distorting the timeline. Yeah, we just dealt with a bunch of that. Oh, I'm sorry, spoilers. We have not yet dealt with a bunch of that. Mm. So, to make sure we don't accidentally pollute the timeline, I'm also equipping them with weapons from the era. go ahead and open this thing up. Take the portal to the past. What the hell? I just heard Q. I just heard Q's little flash. What the hell happened? You heard that, right? I'm not, I'm not going crazy or anything. You heard the Q flash. God damn, are you taking long enough to load? I'm going back in time, not changing maps. We're still in Drazana Station, sir. Just in the past. We need to be very careful here, Captain. If we damage the station or injure anyone, we could damage the timeline irrevocably. Even if Drake doesn't care about the Temporal Prime Directive, we should. We're, e we're still Starfleet officers, after all. Set weapons to heavy stun. 
We're still in the computer core, Captain. Strange. I wonder why there's nobody here. From what I remember about this time period, there should be someone here, even just the technician. If we can find the right parts, we might cobble together a subspace field emitter, and perhaps get an idea of what the Davidians are doing here. But using 23rd century technology will make it much more difficult. The Federation won't develop ways to detect subspace variances that the Davidians use until almost a century from now. I'll make a list of equipment here that we can use to fine-tune Drazana Station's sensor array. We can probably find the regulator components somewhere near the computer core, and an induction coil on the power systems level. I'm not going back to uh, reread stuff that I flubbed a no, go that much of this time because I got a, like a cold sore, so. Shit hurts. I will persevere, though. So yeah, we're armed and we're ready to fucking go. Gotta check out the door. Sam a door. No wonder there's nobody here. The station is on medical alert. Non essential personnel are confined to quarters, and the computer core is locked down. Unfortunately, that lockdown works both ways. No one can get in, but we can't get out either. Lucky for us, those old systems had some well documented problems. It shouldn't be too difficult to override the controls. Sir, these old duotronic computers have a memory fault that makes them successful, susceptible to overloads. An overload could cause it to lose processes, like the one locking the door to the computer core. In this century, there shouldn't be any tax that could overload them, but there's an infamous 24th century warp geometry problem that could be insolable with the processing power available to this computer. If we set the consoles to divert processing to parts of this problem, we might be able to cause a memory overwrite that would make the computer lose its security lockdown. So basically, we're going to uh, confuse the computer into opening the door. Working. And uh, this requires us to uh, hit a bunch of consoles. Let's see, it's bank switch, memory bank one. Now we're going to go this way. Environmental Systems Console. Bank switch memory banks in 1 and 2. Control Systems Allocation. Banks 1 and 2. Bank 1 queued. Bank 2 queued. Okay, now we're going to go hit a third console that's up top. Somewhere. I believe it's this way. So yeah, by the way, this is... Uh, what do you think of Drazana Station? It's all new and shiny. This was, uh, like, this was sort of the impetus for whenever they, they're going to do, I believe they said, whenever they're going to do stuff like add new uh, ship interiors for customization, they're going to be doing it when they have had the necessity to, or had... What word am I looking for? God, it's late. Um, when they've had to add new kinds of geometry to the game, such as this. This was why the TOS interior got added to the game eventually, is because they were doing this. It's been on the Sea Store forever. I, it was supposed to, I believe it was supposed to be like a limited time thing before, but it's been there forever now. Guys! Guys! There we go. And uh, I'm wearing gold right now because uh, command officers used to wear gold. Bank one, bank two, bank three. All right. Go back and check this one out. That did it. The door should open now. Okay. Bolster your weapons, everyone. We're all just happy, friendly denizens of the 23rd century. Hello, fellow 23rd century denizen. 
What are you doing down here? The station is on medical alert. Nobody's supposed to be in the computer core area but me. Hey, is that a weapon? Don't try anything or I'll have to stun you. I'm a consulting specialist looking for the source vector. I'm supposed to be down here. That's fine, then. I can give you directions. Just head the rest of the way up the ramp. Go through the upper connecting room and then take the maintenance lift up. Thanks. I wonder when the station control systems will be something something. I didn't catch it. Let's see, I wonder when the station control systems will be decoupled from the main core. Excuse me, sir. I have business in here. Check console for useful items. Found a Duotronic transducer relay. Now we need a plank regulator. Okay. Sir, I'm reading a patrol team ahead. Sir, I'm reading a patrol team ahead. Sorry. Since the station is on a medical alert, they're probably following a standard patrol pattern. We might be able to sneak past them, or even lock them in one of the side rooms. So yeah, here's the first of several stealth segments, and this one's easy. Uh, basically, you just wait for these guys to pass by and lock them in the room. So you don't have to deal with them. They take their sweet time, though. They, I mean, they really take their sweet time. Alright, they're heading this way. Oh, da 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 da. Come and knock on our door. We'll be waiting for you. And lock. Hello. Okay, that went smoothly. That doesn't usually happen. You can unlock the door. Why you would do this, I couldn't tell you. Room not good. Must get this way. More trellic waves. There must be Davidians somewhere in this station in this time period. Play it cool. When I went through here on Triple, I clicked knock out Ensign on accident. Talk to Ensign. Oh, hey. You shouldn't be here. You should get up to the quarantine area. Oh, look at all this text. I probably should have knocked her out. I'm on my way there now. Okay. What are you working on? I'm just running a level 3 diagnostic on this subsystem. The computers on this si station are state of the art. I can simulate an entire copy of this station and display every piece of it as a wireframe model. That's... impressive. I know, isn't it? I'm very fortunate to be able to work here. Working on a station like this really strikes home just how modern and new everything is. Isn't this subsystem tied to the main computer core? Yes, although it has its own memory and subprocessor as well. It can even work in parallel with the computer core's main processor. What happens when you tie it into the main computer's memory? Here, I'll show you. That's odd. The core isn't responding to my request. I need to go talk to Lieutenant Myers. Make sure you get up to the quarantine area and get checked out by the doctor. Yeah, we should probably hurry. Check console for useful items. Warning! Improper access may cause injury and or death. Already off to a good start. 
For hardware access, disable all power taps before servicing. Discharge static electricity before contact with leads. Unlock safety cage prior to access. Unclap data lead to replace regulator. Okay. Uh, disconnect the power. Touch static discharge plate. Unlock the safety cage. Remove the monitor. Tank plank regulator. Just in the past. Alright, we have the plank regulator. Now we need to take the maintenance lift. <laughs> Poor bastards. Okay, I'm going to reshuffle my weapons a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take this Type 1. Uh, let's see. Uh, 88 DPS. 95 DPS. So I'm going to give... Let's see. Lima's the one who's usually using a rifle, so I'm going to give her the uh, explodey phaser rifle. There we go. Since I'm going to get some use out of the old school... And, you know, show off all three TOS Star... Like, original series Starfleet weapons that are available for you to use. So, Locke's got the uh, Type 1 Cricket Phaser that I love oh so much. I've got the uh, old school Type 2 Phaser that actually has... This is a feature that was in the old TOS Phasers was the Cricket Phaser is actually mounted in it. It actually acts kind of like a power pack for the Type 2. And uh, Lima has the Type 3 Phaser Rifle that I think was only seen in Where No Man Has Gone Before, the second pilot for TOS. God, I am nerdy. All right. Let's go.